Ross Harbaugh, and today I want to talk about cueing, which is a really essential part of music making. You might call these cue tips. Uh, the essentials of a cue are somehow indicating to someone else your tempo and the character of music that you're about to play. So there's always a cue leader and a cue reader. As a cue leader, you need to make some motions that I, I find perfectly exemplified by the clarinet cue. So a clarinetist needs to take a lung full of air and they lift up like this, they put the clarinet into their mouth and set their embouchure, and then they play up. On a stringed instrument, I'm gonna breathe in like this with a, a motion that's indicating exactly what my tempo is gonna be. I place my bow and then, so I'm gonna breathe, set, all right. So a good example of this in our repertoire is the, uh, the beginning of the adagio in the D major concerto of Haydn. So I'm gonna start, let the conductor and the other musicians know exactly what my tempo is and my character set. And I'll play that first E that way, set. That's very easy to read. In Rococo variations, in the beginning of the C major variation, I've just ended. Now I have to begin my cue for an up bow. But the motion uh, essentials are still there. I'm gonna lift, I'm, I'm here, I'm gonna lift this way breathe in at the same time as I cross my strings, and then set the bow very quietly, set, and play. And that's very easy to read as well. Uh, of course, sometimes music needs to have a very aggressive cue, and so at the beginning of the F minor quintet, Beethoven, Opus 95, I'm gonna give this kind of cue. Here, I've given a, a micro cue and then a, a for real cue. So I'm going to go. So I've indicated tempo and I've indicated really exactly when it's gonna happen. I just have to have faith that my cue readers are gonna be able to understand what I've just communicated to them. Energetic cues can also be quiet. For example, at the beginning of the F major sonata of Beethoven. Another kind of cue is the continue cue, and this is a cue that needs to be given during a note that's already being played. Here's the example. So I can indicate when I think the next downbeat should happen by giving the half bar. A variation of this cue is the re-entry cue. And these are found in the slow movement of the C major two cello quintet by Schubert. Everyone is playing, but then there's a big, big pause. So my release is actually the cue for the next entry. One of my favorite kinds of cues is the sideways cue. In the very first note of the adagio of the Dvorak cello concerto, I have to give a cue that begins up bow and on an upbeat. But if I just give my cue up and down, it's, it's difficult for me to bow in a smooth way. So instead, I'm gonna give a sideways cue, which will be a little bit like I'm inviting people to play with me. So I'm gonna do so there's actually a little bit of a motion this way, set the bow, set the bow, and then play. So I wish you a happy career of many successful cues. <laughs>